Hey what's up guys, my name is Twitcher T Scored and today I'm bringing you guys a pretty awesome gameplay. What this is is a 33 gun streak with the CM901 and I was playing a 6v6 kill confirmed on the map village. I think I was playing with a friend in this game except I don't really know for sure who it was. If you were playing with me in this game and you remember it, uh, make sure to comment in the comment section or something like that. If I can see the name in the kill feed then I'll definitely mention it to you guys but... I know somebody in this game was running support for me, and I actually just saw him run by. It was Bahamas Boy, and I want to say thanks to him for running support in this game. And I think it was actually the first game that we played in this game session. I had been playing for myself for like a couple of hours, and I, I like he came online, I think. I messaged him, and I said, do you want to play with me and maybe run support? And he started to play with me, and I think in this game, he actually got the support Moab. And then I was able to get a 33 gun streak with the CM901. So I think we we did get the Broab in this game, which is pretty awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay today. I, I've always tried to go for like really high gun streaks with some terrible guns. And I know a 33 gun streak isn't really the highest. But for the using the CM901 and the fact that it was kill confirmed, I thought it was pretty nice. I was still on a 33 gun streak except for uh, because in kill confirmed, you don't really have that much time if people are picking up the dog tag. And I wasn't in like a full support party in this game I was just playing with one guy so a lot of the random players ran off at the end and they picked up all the dog tags and the game ended a lot earlier than it could have and for that reason I had less time so I was on a 33 gun streak and if there was more time who knows I might have been able to get like a 40 or a 50 gun streak and that guy scared me right there who was laying down on like the well uh, I, I got like a triple kill or a four man feed, a quad feed, I, I didn't really get a quad feed but I got like a four man feed and I noticed there was like one more guy still on the well and I almost could have died to him I think and uh, I'm pretty sure he was sniping but I don't really know that for a fact but anyways in this video uh, my class setup was the CM901 with silencer and extended mags and then I had scavenger, hardline and marksman and my specialist setup was stalker, sleight of hand and quick draw. And like I said, a 33 gun streak with the CM901. I mentioned this in a video a couple of weeks ago, I think, but my highest gun streak ever with a gun besides like the normal ACR and the MP7 and stuff, I actually got a 50 gun streak on Carbon with the FAD. And just because the game kind of glitched out, and with theater mode and stuff like that, I think there was like a couple of host migrations, the game actually didn't save. And I think that's actually one of my best gameplays I've ever had. So it really sucks that that gameplay didn't save. And ever since then, I've been trying to get like a 40 to 50 gun streak with a bad weapon. I would consider the FAD and the CM901 to be bad weapons. Uh, they're not that bad, but can, compared to like the ACR and the MK14 and stuff, they're a lot worse than those guns. So, you know, I consider this a, a good gameplay, a 33 gun streak with a gun. Uh, that you don't see that often so hopefully you guys enjoy me posting something different and I really wish I could have had more time in this game but for the time I have left in the video I want to quickly talk about a couple of uh, friends from my life that have actually gone on to do really successful things so one of them her name is actually Jamie Nared and uh, she actually plays college basketball at the University of Tennessee and if, if any of you guys know about women's college basketball uh, Tennessee has been one of the best programs of all time uh, University of Connecticut and then University of Tennessee those have been the two best women's programs in college basketball and she was actually ranked 98 out of 99 for college recruits she was like the fifth best player in the nation for high school basketball and she played at Westview and uh, I used to play basketball with her back at like the gym. She went to my middle school and I knew her and everything. And now she's like one of the best, you know, basketball players in the country. In high school last year as a senior, she averaged 14 rebounds a game and 30 points a game, along with like four steals a game and some other stuff like that. So that's insane. She'll probably be in the WNBA in a couple of years. And if she is, that'll be really, really cool. The fact that I knew somebody who will probably be in the WNBA, I think that's awesome. Then also my friend Parker Kelly, he signed to play uh, college baseball at the University of Oregon. I used to have basketball games against him uh, back in elementary school and middle school, and now he is a really really good baseball player. He was actually on the on the on Team USA for like the youth team, so he's one of the best uh, college baseball players right now, kind of for like uh, freshmen. So that's pretty awesome. I used to play with him in basketball. He went to my middle school just like Jamie did. So that school guys, we've pumped out some good athletes. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys enjoy.
Hey, what's up, guys? I knew I wouldn't have enough time in this video, but I just want to say hopefully Jamie plays in the WNBA in a few years. That would be really awesome. And also, Parker's brother, he is in the AAA division right now for the St. Louis Cardinals, so he might be in the MLB in a couple of years, as well as Parker. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.